Hi everyone, welcome to Boxing Blocks and guys and please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon click it and set up all sorts of new new uh, new exclusivity you will definitely be notified. So breaking news and good news. Um all listener Usik, who is of course the mandatory challenger for the WBO Joshua's WBO belt and strap has given a hint that uh, he will be open to Fury vs Joshua step aside deal hope it hoping I mean he is open to taking the taking a step aside you know accepting a step aside fee for the bout to happen and uh, yeah he he wants it um let me re let me read what he said. Yeah, he said I quote: "All four belts might end up in the same hands of one person. It might be a once in a lifetime opportunity. We should all talk and communicate for that to happen because it is a really big event. I still want to fight Anthony Joshua for the title. There are many factors for this fight to happen. My team and all the participants." And all their interested parties are already working on it. But there are still many people who wish to fight him as well, like Tyson Fury. Um Usyk is beginning to, to, to come to reality that listen, I mean this fight is what everybody wants to see. Like if Joshua Fury if Joshua um Usyk happens, I mean it would generate a lot of like balls, but a lot of people will still say we don't want to watch this fight even though Usyk is a phenomenal fighter Usyk knows a big event and a big fight when he know when he sees it and and believe you me uh if he's not going to prize himself out i believe there's eddie hearn and team joshua can work out a reasonable deal for Usyk to step aside Usyk can as well fight on the undercut as well you know they give him step aside money and he had money also fight on the undercut i mean this is a good development in my opinion um, what was your take on this, brother? Uh, hola, Jide. Um, hello. Well, I don't. It's a good. It's a good development. To be honest, let's let's kind of like be um genuinely honest with it. And um, secondly, <clears throat> as time goes on, I know it's gonna work towards this path anyway, because Hisik is with Matro, is with Eddie. And Usyk has once been in this position before. He was once on this period, cruise away. Usyk knows what it means to go for things like this. And I believe Usyk already knows the story of previous undisputed when it comes to FOA and whatever this has happened. So that's the reason why it's going to be fully open-minded because, again, it's going to benefit you know, Usyk a lot more. Because if he's going to fight, he's not just going to fight for unification. When he fights as mandatory, when if he wins, he becomes undisputed straight up. So he's going to favor him as well. So either way, it's him taking step aside or whatever it is, it favors him as well. You know, so it works in both ways. But I know at one point, because, you know, I know every boxing channel, you know, on social media, I've been saying one thing. Since Hussik is more of matches of matchroom fighter and everything, matchroom should know how to speak to Hussik on that. And um, since um, Top Rank has a lot of connection with WBO, and they should know how to do it as well. So I know one way or the other, an agreement is going to come to you because it would be better for them putting all the belts online. And at the same time, I believe another thing that might cause this coming out is because. Eddie is not saying it. Like you know what? If as a boxing buddy with a strap, if you don't want to be part of the biggest, because definitely there's not how the fight's gonna go. They won't have their own court of it as well. If you don't want to have your own court of it, and because Eddie has made it obvious, and I think Eddie just said one thing: if it's for me to step aside, drop one, I might not mind. It's just gonna give me a chance to go fight another champion again. You know, so I think. All that again, looking into looking into that makes him much more becoming a reality. Like you know what, let a big fight happens. 
We see guys have been waiting for long. Let's be realistic. As they came into the area last year, it became mandatory, you know, last year and everything and stuff like that. So it's not like he's been waiting. It's not like he's been there waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and that. So I believe it's a it's a good thing. But like one thing we used to say here in the UK, folks are cheap. Let's see the action that comes of it. That's it. Yes, brother. Thanks a lot for your reasonable and knowledgeable uh, opinion. And I do wholeheartedly agree with you, man. I think you're right on this on this uh, matter right here. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Us at least Usik is being uh, reasonable. I mean, I know if it uh, Usik was a fighter to top rank or pbc they will make life they would have made life made life hell you know for eddie hearn especially the pbc um fighters negotiating with pbc and our uh, human is one of the hardest things you know what I mean? it's crazy guys stay blessed god bless you all and we'll be right back with another bangers <laughs>